Before the radio, police relied on the rattle and later the whistle as their early forms of communication. A wooden rattle like this was used by police in Manchester from 1839 and could be clearly heard over the cobbled streets up to 400 metres away. Though long abandoned for police use, the design lived on with use at football matches and also as a children's toy. By the mid-1880s, Manchester had replaced the rattle with a two-tone police whistle which could be heard over twice the distance. The whistle remained in service for well over a hundred years and became one of the greatest symbols of British policing. Whistles were worn on the end of a chain and this was attached to the tunic, ensuring the whistle was always ready for use. In this particular instance, the chain has a key attached which was used to open police boxes in the area. So here's two sounds you might have heard on the streets of Victorian Manchester.